welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my favorite eye brushes. Um, as you know, eye brushes can definitely make the eye look that you are creating so much better. <laughs> so these are just a couple of my favorite ones that I absolutely love to use. I always go back to these and um, yeah, so I'm just gonna jump right in and start sharing these with you. I did try to put these in categories together to make it a lot easier for you guys so I'm not just all over the place, but we're gonna start off with the Sigma E35 and the E40 brush. I love these brushes so much. First of all, Sigma is an amazing company. I love their brushes. I know this one is definitely cruelty free. Um, you get a warranty. I think it's like a two year warranty. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but I will have that listed down below for you guys. But you do get a warranty on these brushes, but I have yet to had anything happen to them. They still look absolutely brand new, even after using them and washing them, using them and washing them. And they are so sturdy and they are so good at what they do. Oh my gosh. So this is the tapered blending. They're both tapered blending brushes, but I kind of use the E35 um, for my transition color. And then I'll use my E40 for my crease color. This just blends out your crease color so beautifully. I highly, highly suggest getting these brushes. They do sales. If you pay attention, to the Sigma website. I know they have like a Memorial Day sale. Um, Christmas time is a great time to get Sigma brushes. They're usually at least think at least up to 30% off. You can also use like, I know some of my favorite YouTubers have codes um, where you can get an extra 10% off. So look it up. There are definitely discounts to Sigma brushes, but I highly, highly suggest these. All right, next is a Sigma E25 blending brush. Now, the reason I love this so much is because this is perfect, not just for the crease color, but if I really wanna get good and deep in that crease and kind of just blend that out. This works perfectly for that. And it doesn't take it too high. This just kind of keeps it to where exactly where I need it to be. And as you can see, um, it's kind of flat and then gets just a little bit fluffy here. So it's really good for detailed crease work. So moving on to my outer corner, this is my all-time favorite brush for outer crease work. Oh my gosh. It is the ColourPop. I, oh, I hate that they did not have like a name on here. I know the other ColourPop brush that I will be showing you has like um has the number to it, but this doesn't have anything but ColourPop on it. And that kind of irritates me. But I do believe this is just their regular blending brush but this is so freaking perfect. I use this right on my outer crease. It applies the perfect amount of, you know, of eyeshadow. Um, it blends it out beautifully, and this is just, it's so perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> I This is the only one I have because um, when I did buy them, um, I really was kind of unsure of what to expect, but I swear, I will wash this sucker over and over just to use it on my outer corner um, because it is just, it's so good, so good. Um, but if <laughs> I don't use this one, which is weird for me, um, there are two that I do use and that is the Sigma Domed Utility 30 E34 brush. Um, I do like that it is a dome brush so it kind of helps me just kind of so being domed, it kind of helps me just pack that color onto my outer corner and just kind of slightly work that into the crease. You will see this in my tutorials as well. And this is a really nice outer corner brush. I also like to use my Morphe 321 for the outer crease as well. But like I said, out of the three, my favorite is ColourPop. Um, and then I enjoy the Sigma. And of course, last we have Morphe. These are my top favorite outer corner brushes. Okay, for shading brushes, I do have three that I enjoy and I kind of bounce back and forth between them. 
So you actually have your options of price range. I do enjoy this Sigma E55 shader brush. This is really nice for packing on color onto the lid. I also enjoy my ColourPop uh, large shader brush. I do have actually a large lid, so it does help me cover that space quite quickly. As you can tell it is dirty, but I do enjoy this one. And then I actually also love to use my Wet n Wild flat shader brush. This gets the job done and it applies the perfect amount of uh, color as well. And this one is only a dollar. So who can beat that? For my lower lash line, I only have one brush for you guys. This is my go-to lower lash line brush. I can do either a smoked out look with it or I can get really precise. And this is my Wet n Wild um, flat liner brush. I love this brush so much. I cannot find it at Walmart. I actually have to go either to the Dollar Tree, which um, if I see them at the Dollar Tree, I usually will buy all that they have. <laughs> they're only a dollar or you can go online to um, wetandwild.com and they have them on there as well but man I tell you what these are so perfect like I said you can be really precise get up nice and tight in that um, lash line area or you can actually these are really good for smoking out that lower lash line so this is a must-have I love these so much all right, and for inner corner and brow bone highlight, I do use three different ones. I have the ColourPop E10. I really, really enjoy that one. I have my Morphe E36. And then I love this one, not for my inner corner, but for my brow bone highlight. I think it is absolutely perfect. Um, it's the LG one. This is a Flower Beauty brush but this is what it looks like right here. I don't know, just something about it is just, it applies that perfect amount of product for that brow bone and I can just kind of concentrate and get that right underneath there. It is just so perfect. So this you can definitely find at Walmart. All right guys, so that's it for my eye brushes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do a face brush video, just leave a comment down below and I will definitely do that for you guys. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go so you can be notified of the videos that I have. I normally post every Monday and Friday. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will have those linked down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.